Welcome back to Tip and Unboxing. Hello, and today we are unboxing the October edition of the BAM Ultra Box. Yeah, so this is the first Ultra Box. They used to do BAM Big Boxes, which weren't monthly. They just did it whenever. I think the last one they did was Back to the Future, and mm. those are like a hundred something dollars, and you get a ton of stuff in it. So they started doing this BAM Ultra Box, and it's monthly. So the first one is a Choose Your Own Adventure because there are three different categories that this celebrity um, belongs to. It was 1980s, fantasy, and sci-fi. So mm. I believe we picked sci-fi. So mm. we don't know who the celebrity is. We had some guesses like Sigourney Weaver. And, and Harrison Ford. Yeah, and Christopher Lloyd. Yeah. Yeah, we had some guesses. We don't know. It couldn't be neither of them because those are some pretty top tier yeah. celebrities. But hey, you never know. Indeed, you never know. Yeah, and this was $84. Um, it's supposed to have some good stuff in here. But even though we had three choices, you can choose to get more on. But I'm pretty sure we only got one, and I think it was a sci-fi. I believe so. Well, then, without further ado, make sure you leave a comment down below telling us your favorite item that we unboxed today. Let's see what's inside. I'm very excited to see what this is. I am, too. I also don't know, like, what's supposed to be in here. The shape makes me think it's... Maybe it's just autograph photos. I really don't know. It's also very light. Yeah. Like, I don't think it's, like, small. I, I mean, it could be. I really don't know. It's the first um, Ultra Box in yeah. general. I've seen, like, big boxes. It sounds like a very plain, yeah. like, just unappealing appearance. What? Just this big white box. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Never seen the big box. Oh, God. The big boxes are... I don't remember how the box looked, but they weren't as flat as this. Mm -hmm. Like, I, like the Back to the Future one had like a, it was like a hat replica from, you know, like a shiny like holographic hat. Mm -hmm. Like, stuff like that. Like, I don't know what this is, but All right. try not to, put to it look. On the table. Yeah, put it right here. Make some space for it. Um, I'm going to fill around mm -hmm. to get some... Okay, so I feel maybe an enamel pen. Ooh, I like enamel pens. Maybe two enamel pens? Multiple enamel pens. I don't know. This is a sheet of paper. Maybe it's a cheat sheet. Mm -hmm. And it's really just Flapping. two. I don't know what this middle thing is, but there's two autographs, maybe. Maybe one's an art print. I don't know. I feel like this is Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford? Yeah. Why do you say that? I don't know. I, so I feel That's like a he, pretty big name. Yeah. But I, I feel like he just so definitively like checks all those boxes. But so does all the other people we talked about. Yeah. So I don't know. I feel like I feel like we've been guessing these top tier <laughs> yeah. actors and it's not gonna be them. Because they're so they're such big names. Yeah. We'll see though. Alright, well let's try to do the small stuff first. There's like two small things in this corner right here. Mm -hmm. So pick one of those out, and then I'll pick the other one out. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure what that is. It's like a cheap sheet. Okay, this is a, a pen. Okay, so... 80s. Stranger Things. Stranger Things? Wait. It looks like a demo. Oh yeah. Aw. I don't want this. This is when Bob died. <laughs> yeah, that's tough. Isn't that Bob? Because yeah. he's in the, the nurse uniform? It's supposed to be Bob. What's when Bob died? Why do I want to... What? <laughs> well, this is our first item. Focus, please. Focus. Focus. Focus on me. Oh, wow. It's just not focusing. There we, there go. we go. That's our first item. That's, that is when Bob died. Why would I want when Bob died? That's funny. One of the three bees that's died. That's yeah. so random. Bob got wrecked. Yeah, and That's I like nice Bob. Pen, He's the actor who played Bob is also in one of my favorite movies, Fifty First Date. So That's a random but, fact. Yeah. Alright, next one. Remember the Titans? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> um, it is currently lost on me. It's, it's a like football want, player, so I don't know. It's like he's wearing a Green Bay Packers uniform. This is our second pin. So these first two don't really tell us. Yeah, they'll tell us a look of it. Um so I guess this is like a normal uh, band box, but the autograph is, the is with the, yeah, that's what I'm guessing. So so this uh, Bob pen 
is limited to 500 and this um whatever it is we're not sure what it is yet is limited to 750 so that's pretty cool at least yeah it seems tinier than usual you think? yeah all right i don't know it's a ball play it's kind of large all right i guess we we, we get into the, the yeah. heavy stuff there's some stuff like there's this big bulky thing i don't know what it is so I, I think the, i think the slip on top is the cheek yeah that's why i didn't know what it was it's a map of some place is this a Daryl? No, no. Hawkins. Wait, no. Indiana Department. Yeah. Wait. It's the town of Hawkins from Stranger Things. Oh, yeah. So, wait, this was, this was, this was um, supposed to be Bob. Wait, uh, what's the one guy? He's not around Perlman, is he? No. No, what's the, what's the, the guy that plays Hopper? I forget his name, but. But. It's not him though. Um, so you think it's the guy that plays Bob? It could be. I mean, they do have Bob's death on as one of the bins. True. Maybe this was also him. Maybe. But then they better have fifty first dates on their hmm. But this is our item. It's our a, next item. It's a replica map of Hawkins from Stranger, Stranger Things. Things. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Well, I guess I'm going in for, I'm pretty sure it's a cheat sheet, yeah. Let's put it right there. So there's two things right here. Two uh, autographs. So gonna, well, one might be an art print. I don't know. But mm, pulling out the mm, first one, all right. It was kind of big. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's him. Yeah. 51st date. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, so I guess it was him. Yeah. I think he's also in Lord of the Rings. But yeah, this is pretty cool. It shows all his his roles. Honestly, I haven't seen most of them. <laughs> but Maybe you like that. I have seen Fifty First Dates. I know that's where that's from. It, it checks but... the boxes. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. And you, we watched Fifty First Dates, didn't we? Yeah. You remember him in it? Not really. He was um Drew Barrymore's brother. The dumb one, mm -hmm. who was always flexing and he had like a weird list. Yeah. That was him. <laughs> All right, I'm reaching in. You're going in for the last one? Yeah, the last one. It's not like an autograph. It's probably an autograph. from him getting killed by the... Like, I, I would hate that. Don't do that, please. Okay. I, I would want it to be 50 first days, but I know it's not going to be. These are big. Five newbies. Nice. This is pretty cool. Yeah. This tape is here. But yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. Whoa, whoa, that's whoa, really nice. Da, 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 do, do. So, I mean, I'm, I'm not I'm not too disappointed by this. I figured it probably wasn't going to be like Christopher Lloyd, yeah. Sigourney Weaver, because they're just such big names. Like, this would have to be like $200, $300 box. Mm hmm. Cause just one of like Christopher Lloyd's signatures, just like to get a signature, um, an autographed Funko Pop is three hundred dollars huh. at, at least. So I figured it probably wouldn't be them because just so big, mm -hmm. so like their names are just so big. But this is kind of a nice surprise, honestly. It is. It is. Yeah. Nice. I haven't seen most of these roles to be honest. Right. I've only the only two things I've seen him in are Stranger Things and Fifty First Dates. Um, but you know. It happens, but all right, cheat sheet. Cheat sheet time. Go ahead and show you guys if you want to pause it and look pause. and read. But all right. Also, what is this? Mm -hmm. Starting monthly in 2021. Bam Ultra will be a monthly box starting in 2021. Oh, so it's not monthly yet, actually. Mm -hmm. But it will be monthly starting in 2021. But all right. Let's look at the cheat sheet. Choose your own experience. Present Sean Austin. Many famous actors have one iconic character you remember them for in movies we love. A few are fortunate enough to have two, but three or four? That's a very small club to be in. Sean Austin is in that club, so imagine how thrilled we were to find out we were going to bring him to you according to the version you choose. So we have the art print, which is the artist alley. We couldn't have asked for a better art print to sum up a legendary career. This beautiful 11 by 14 tribute piece was created by professional artist Matt Atkin, and each print is personally signed by him as well. Cool. That's pretty cool. So replica items. So it looks like you can get different maps. Mm -hmm. So 
Oh, you could have got a level up with a sign, um, Funk Funko Pop. Yeah. We didn't get a level up though, <laughs> but so we did get the um the map of Hawkins, the upside down with Hopper's map of Hawkins, um, the collector pin. You could have got um anything from four different movies from his role. So we got the Bob and the um. This is from Lord of the Rings. So Samwise. Oh no, this is not Lord of the Rings. Sorry. <laughs> this is. I don't know what this is. He was in the Goonies? I guess so. i never seen the Goonies, but... Rudy. Oh, this is Rudy. Rudy. So, actually, I saw that um, Seven Bucks a Pop just posted because they do a special every Saturday with signed Funko Pops. And this Saturday, well, today, actually, they, um, they have Sean Austin signing Rudy Pops. So... What a coincidence. Yeah. It said that, and I, I honestly was like, I don't know who that is. <laughs> and then we just opened this box, so that's kind of funny. But Yeah. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I, I'm, I'm pretty pleased by it. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. But all right, review time? Review time. You want to go first? Our first Ultra Box? Uh, you can go first. No, you can go first. All right. <laughs> um, all the items within the box are pretty cool. Nice pins, even though, like, even though you don't know exactly every single thing he's been in, still pretty nice. Yeah, and they're pretty big movies. It's just yeah. I haven't seen them necessarily. Well, we're, we're also pretty lucky that we chose um, sci-fi instead of like fantasy or nineteen eighties. It would it would just been like oh, well, we chose sci- sci-fi, so we got Stranger Things stuff. Oh yeah, true. So, we actually got pretty lucky on that front. True. Because it was, it was like a bunch of Goonies stuff. Goonies or Rudy yeah. or, uh, was it Lord of the Rings? Yeah, it was like, oh. <laughs> so, yeah, we, we picked pretty good there. So, sci-fi, always sci-fi. Can't really go wrong with sci-fi. True. But, um, I would give it like a nine. A nine? Yeah. I think I also want to give it a nine because, yeah. again, I haven't seen most of the stuff. Uh-huh. In here, I really wish Fifty First Dates was an option, but I do understand he wasn't the main main character, so yeah. maybe that's why. But I mean, he wasn't the main main yeah. character of Stranger Things. Either, <laughs> but um, I do wish that yeah, I right. could have seen that. I mean, they know about it because he's in the picture. Yeah. But you know, like all the other roles on here are in here. Yeah. Except Fifty First Dates. So I wish Fifty First Dates was an option, but. That's just me personally. That's the but, way it crumbles. I mean, I still think it's pretty cool. So yeah. I, I think I'm going to give it a nine also. It's pretty nice. Yeah. I was really hoping for Harrison Ford. I'm not going. I mean, I I just had Unlikely. a feeling there was not going to be Unlikely, but anybody that we were guessing. You aim for the stars. True. And I saw the the next one, the Bam Ultra they're doing, but I wasn't too interested in it because mm-hmm. it was something about horror, um, and I was just like, "That's just going to be so slim for things I might enjoy." That I'm not... like, I like horror, I yeah, do, I but I just like they have any hits? one singular person. I don't remember here. Let's look it up. Yeah. So the next Bam Ultra is Masters of Horror. It's ninety nine dollars. Uh, mm-hmm. Let's see. There's a special. Plus edition of the box. Um, but it doesn't really like say anything else, you mm-hmm. know? And this didn't really say anything. It just said, like, since he'd been in so many things, you had a choice. Mm-hmm. But this just is like Masters of Horror, and it's just like, that's just too broad for me. I don't know, like, that could be, I don't know. That's fair. I just don't know if we would like it or not. So mm-hmm. that's why I'm not too interested in that. But maybe the next one. We will see. All right, now that we have unboxed our first BAM Ultra box, we got some pretty cool stuff. Yeah. I have a gaming channel linked in the description down below, as always. Anytime I reach milestones, I'll do giveaway. So you might see one of these items in that giveaway. Gotta stay tuned for that. But that's going to do it for today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below to know us your favorite item that we unboxed today. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.